Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. All gamers around the world. Today, we're going to talk about the Sega Genesis classic game console. So let's talk about it. Now, when I first heard about the Sega Genesis Classic, I wasn't too sure about it because I already have a Sega Genesis, but they installed 80 games. 80 games, 40 out of those 80 games were Sega games. The other 40 was homebrew games. So, kind of had mixed feelings about it. So, my wife, you know, she went and got it. You know, I told her I'd try this out. You know, see how this game goes. So, in the back. The, uh, these are not most of the 80 games. These are probably 40, maybe 50 games on the back. Um, they got some good games here Some good games that I remember growing up on Like uh, Eternal Champions Ultra Beast one is, one is, That's one of my favorite games Sonic and Knuckles uh, Sonic 2 Sonic 1 uh, The Mortal Kombat series Uh and then you got these homebrew games. You know, games like Wall Breaking, Wacker Wolf, <laughs> Mr. Balls. <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, it is what it is. You know, I know a lot of people don't like this game console. And I can tell you why. Because I'd already tested already. And the picture quality sucks. You know, everything looks so old. And the sound is very off. You know, even the soundtrack of the games, it sounds a little off to me. You know, so, you know, it doesn't look like the modern day game look like the, the Nintendo Classic. You know, but, um... Hey, it is what it is. I don't really play it as much. You know. I really don't play it at all. Play it like that. I think I played it about maybe two or three times. And that's it. I just put it back in the box. But I figured I'd show it to, you know, people who are Sega fans. And maybe, you know, y'all might want to go pick this up at your local bath, Bed Bath & Beyond or Target. Alright, so let's open it. 